first. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to our uh, working group, uh, Proud Migration Meeting. Uh, so today we, as you can see, uh, we have pretty big agenda, so uh, we better uh, hurry up with this one. Um, so we have at the moment only one point and it is uh, current status and next priorities as usually from uh, Adam Szczecówka. Adam. Okay, thank you, thank you Magda. Uh, so let's have a look on our board. So I think the uh, most important one is uh, this uh, epic uh, with uh, switching official CI. So currently uh, Kema is using Pro instead of Jenkins. And uh, here uh, we uh, disable all uh, Jenkins jobs. So we decided to do not remove uh, Jenkins files so far because we want to have a safe path if there will be any kind of uh, problem with the Pro probably after the release of uh, Kema 06, we'll remove also Jenkins files. And in this uh, epic, we uh, set skip report uh, flag uh, to false, and we also updated branch protection. And after that, we officially use uh, Pro for, for, for all uh, pull requests for Kema. Uh, next important uh, epic which we are currently uh, working on is Pro Pipeline for uh, releasing Kema. Here you can uh, see in this uh, comment that we implement uh, um, release jobs for every component or every uh, tool, so it is uh, really great. And in addition to that, we implement some uh, jobs that are really specific. So for example, we implement Kima artifacts job that generates two YAM files that are artifacts for the release. Uh, we implement also Kima installer job that build Kima installer. And in addition to that, we have uh, two integration jobs uh, that are run on pull request to the release branch. So as usual, we run Kima integration and Kima GKE integration. But in case of Kima GKE integration, we use uh, previously generated artifacts and previously um, built Kima installer. Okay, that's, oh, maybe one more thing. Uh, here you can see that uh, we have uh, in progress uh, two issues release prop job for GitHub release. I think Magda is working on that and create release pipeline for change on artifacts and Piotr Jasek is working on that. And we have only one to do issue about making my release more robust, but uh, I'm not sure if we keep it uh, in this epic or later we decided to move it to to do column and remove from that epic. And uh, we have uh, also uh, another epic about hardening pro cluster and here you can see that uh, we have one issue in the review it's about uh, setting a failure notification for pro and in addition to that we have uh, two issues in the blocked column and they uh, they are blocked because we weren't sure which approach we should use if we should um, uh, create an integration uh, periodic uh, cleanup job that uh, took some cleanups for IP addresses and DNS, or instead use XIPI IO in the Kimagic integration job to get rid of that problem. And uh, today I heard that uh, this XIPI IO probably won't be implemented uh, in this uh, release. And uh, so, so here probably we, we are going to remove uh, that, uh, that issue from the epic and we, we need to think what to do with this job. So currently Michal is uh, doing uh, that cleanup uh, manually. And as you probably know, uh, our working group is going to, to be closed quite soon. So probably, we want to have uh, uh, human resources to implement that and maybe we just postpone uh, that uh, periodic uh, job for, for later implementation. And about uh, next priorities, so in the uh, 
uh, next week we are going to uh, validate how our releasing um, procedure re releasing pipeline is working on Pro, and finally we want to release uh, Kima in version 0 0.6 using Pro. That's all, and thank you. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you, Adam. Are there any other topics you want to discuss? Okay, so maybe I have one a really quick one. Because um, when I started to working on uh, on that uh, release GitHub uh, job, uh, at some point I noticed that we uh, also have um, implementation of generating uh, change log. To be more specific, uh, we have uh, two change logs. One is um, let's call it big one, and it was um, appended with every uh, release. And, uh, uh, and at the be beginning, um, it was planned to uh, be checked in by uh, uh, during pipeline run. run. Uh, and another one is a smaller one, which is specific only to that, uh, to that release, and it is part of the body of uh, GitHub release. So maybe we can discuss what to do about this, uh, about this big change log, which is supposed to be checked in. Do you have any opinions on that? Should we check in or not, and how to not trigger release job on and on? I actually uh, talked with Łukasz Gurnicki about that and um, uh, actually before we we haven't had any uh, change log MD file committed to the Kima repository um, so despite the decision we made uh, when we, we agreed that we will provide the change log in GitHub release and also in in a form of changelog MD file, but uh, I think it's time to update the decision and just you know just omit the changelog MD file as we already uh, haven't committed it. Right? Sounds very good to me. Problem solved. Cool. Great. Okay, any other topics? Okay, so thank you very much and have a nice one. See you on Tuesday. Bye. Thank you, bye. bye. Thanks, bye.